I'm Doug Doyle with the art of the story. The 100th anniversary of Maria Callas' birth is being celebrated around the world. New York Times bestselling author and creator of the PBS masterpiece series Victoria, Daisy Goodwin has written an engaging new novel, Diva from St. Martin's Press, that centered around the love affair between Maria Callas and Aristotle Onassis. Goodwin had wanted to write this novel for quite some time about one of the world's greatest opera singers. You know, she's often portrayed as a kind of tragic heroine who was undone by men and love. But actually, I think that's a much more interesting story about Callas, which was that she, you know, was the greatest opera singer of the 20th century. She had this incredible career. The real tragedy in her life was not the fact that she met Anassis and had this passionate love affair, which ended when he married Jackie Kennedy, but the fact that her voice began to go long before it should have done. I mean, you know, most opera singers can sing well into their 40s at their best, and, and, and Maria really began to lose her voice in her late 30s. And I think that, for me, was the real, the real sadness of Maria's life. And in her novel, Diva, you mentioned several times her encounters that people kind of warned her about not only getting involved with a man like Onassis, but mm. that the voice doesn't last forever. You really wanted to point that out, that there were opportunities for her to maybe take a different path as well, right? I think so, yes. I, I wanted to, to to start the novel with the sense of a ticking clock. It's almost like a fairy tale prologue where she's talking to her singing teacher in Athens and she's, you know, 19. It's snowing in Athens and she's singing in the street with excitement and her singing teacher says, Maria, Maria, stop. You know, you, you don't want to be wasting that voice, you know, in the snow. You need to look after your voice. You've got to spend, you know, you've only got so many performances and you've got to spend to choose those performances very, very wisely, because like, you know, it's like a jar full of golden coins. Once you've spent those coins, there won't be any more. And that is something that, of course, she hears when she's 18. And of course, she forgets that until it's too late. And with Anassis, I think, you know, I suppose it's like, it's like a Greek tragedy, isn't it? They're always told, don't do this, you know, uh, you're going to marry your mother and kill your father. And they go, no, no, I'm not, you know. And then lo and behold, they marry their mother and kill their father. And I think it's the same with Maria. She doesn't look after her voice. And she falls in love with a man who is her match in many ways, but who is congenitally unfaithful and will always move on to another thing. You can see my entire interview with best-selling author Daisy Goodwin on the WBGO Facebook page. I'm Doug Doyle, WBGO News.